Now, when Jamie Masson was in earlier this year, he was telling us what great results he'd had fishing with maggots on a method feeder. The key to his approach, and a very clever one it is too, is using a hair rigged bayonet to secure the maggots on. To show us just how well it works, he took us to one of his favourite commercial waters. Like all successful feeder fishing, the process begins with your ground bait mix. Today I'm at Little John Fisheries and I'm going to be doing some method feeder fishing. It's really important to get your ground bait right. So I'll talk you through the ground baits I'm using, how to prepare them and then hopefully we'll catch some fish. Today I'm using a 130, EFG 130 Maruku ground bait and it's a 70% uh, 130 I add to 20% Maruku 100 to 10% SFA 400 which is the krill. After adding your ground, uh, dry ground bait into your bowl, you'll mix it thoroughly. And once it's all mixed through, as so, you'll grab your water and push it in really gradually. What you want is a pretty dry mix. So be very careful when you're adding your ground, uh, water to your ground bait not to add too much too early. It absorbs water really quickly. And once it's took all the water on, which it already has. We'll put it into a small mixing bowl. Get his riddle. Place it on top of his big bowl. And then you just shake your ground bait through. Any big lumps that are left on the top. Push them through. Take your riddle off. Put your ground bait back into the bowl, which you're going to be using on your side tray. And there you have it, perfect ground bait for the method feeder. Now you've seen me mix my ground bait, I'm going to talk you through about hair rigging maggots. Most people put maggots straight on the hook, where I've come up with the idea of using a bayonet to put maggots on, air rigged. It's really easy and simple. So what I've got is a 4 inch hook length away from my method feeder, an 18 hook to the bayonet. And I'll select a number of maggots. I normally start on three at the start of the session, but you can put up to ten on if you like, or you could put one on. So as you can see, I'll just thread three maggots onto the bayonet. And there it is, three air rig maggots. They stay on brilliantly. Obviously, if you want to change your bait halfway through the match, put a piece of meat on or corn on. No need to change your rig, just pop them straight onto the bayonet and they'll stay on just as good as the maggots will. Right, now I'll put my ground bait on my feeder. So you push it into the mould. And when you push it into the mould, make sure you really do it as, as tightly as you can. You want it really compact. And there you go. You've got your method mould and your three maggots just dangling down from it. When I first start off, I always leave my maggots out. If I needed to put them inside, if you find they're hitting the ball and not taking your bait, then I'll pop them inside my, my ball. And then obviously when they chuck out, they hit the ball, see the maggots and they'll take it. But we'll start off like that. All right, here we go. Put your rod straight away low to sink your line. And the idea when you're method feeder fishing is you don't want to move the method knights at the bottom. So really slowly tighten up your line. And then because the, the maggots are air rigged on the bayonet, sit on your hands. A bite, it'll pull your rod in. So if you sit on your hands and wait until it goes round, you'll get one every chuck. Right, if you look at my tip, I keep getting the odd indication. That means there's fish about, but don't strike at them. You're waiting for a good pull. And it, that's it. See, the tip went round sharply. 
and we're in. It's a lovely fishing here at Ollerton. They're not great big fish, but you can still do a big weight, catching fish between a pound and six pound. And like I say, when you're playing a fish, just keep your rod nice and low, let your rod do the action. And when it's ready, we'll hopefully net it. It's only a small fish, about a pound and a half. As you can see, fish is in the net. Lovely pound and a half common fish. <laughs>